Let us do this question on uh, sequence and series. So let's read the question. The first, the third, and the seven terms of an increasing arithmetic progression are three consecutive terms of a geometric progression. If the first term, this one is if, so this one is if, so if the first term uh, of the arithmetic progression is 10, find uh, the common difference of the arithmetic progression. So before we begin, there are a few things I want us to look at here. You're going to highlight them. So we have arithmetic progression. We have uh, geometric progression. We have the seven, the third terms, the first, the word consecutive. So we need to remind ourselves on AP, arithmetic progression. So an arithmetic progression, you're going to denote this one by AP standing for arithmetic progression there is a common difference there is a common difference and the terms of an arithmetic progression beginning from the first the second the third and so on till the end till the end those are the terms of uh, an arithmetic progression they have the common difference geometric progression gp they have common ratio common ratio the terms are the first one is a second is ar the third one is ar squared and so on till the end ar and minus one so having known that let's go to our question here given that the first the third and the seven terms of increasing arithmetic progression so we need to write the first, third, and the seven terms of an AP. So the first, first is given as A. Then the third, the third term given is A plus 2D. Then the seventh is given by A plus 6D. So these ones uh, form or are three consecutive terms of a GP. These three. Have, uh, three consecutive consecutive means uh, following each other the like one two three four five so a a plus two d and uh, a plus six d so these are consecutive terms of a gp so if they are consecutive terms then uh, if we take um, a plus two d divide by a that ratio should be common or should be the same with the one that you get here a plus 6d divided by a plus 2d and remember we are given that the first term of the arithmetic progression is 10 so the first term is 10 so a is 10 so you need to get uh, the common difference that is the question so we need to work out these so that we get our um, common difference so to work out this we need to cross multiply so a times a plus 2d a plus 2d sorry a plus 2d so a plus 2d multiply by a plus 2d should give us a times a plus d. so we multiply these a times a you get a squared plus a times 2d 2ad plus 2d times a 2ad plus 2d times 2d get 4d squared is equals a times a get a squared plus uh, 6d times a 6ad so we can simplify this a squared plus 2ad uh, this one this one will give us uh, 4ad then uh, we have plus this is a 4d squared is equals to a squared plus 6ad so we can bring this on to this side so we can work it out like this from there we can bring these ones to this side these two these ones to this side like that so let's bring them so a squared plus 4ad plus 4d squared um, if we bring this on it will be minus a squared 
and this one will be minus 6ad is equals to 0. And forget that this one will give us, uh, this one will be equal to, this one will be equals to 0. Like that. So we continue. So this one, is a squared minus a squared, that will give us 0. So you have have 4ad don't think we need to write these so 4ad minus 6ad minus 2ad so when you work out these you'll get 4 you'll get 4d squared minus 2ad 4ad minus 6ad you get minus 2ad is equals to 0 and remember our a is equals to 10 substitute 10 here so you get 4d squared Minus when you substitute 10 here, you get 20 d is equals to 0. Factor out 4d is common, so if 4d is common, then you shall have uh, this one is uh, grab this. So you are from here. So from here, we have uh, d, but 4d is common. So we have uh, d minus 5 should be equal to 0. So this is now an expression that will give us the, the value of d. So 4d is equal to 0. d cannot be 0. So we are going to ignore this. d cannot be 0 since we are told that this one is an increasing ap. So the other one we are going to take is uh, either d minus 5 is equal to 0 and d is equal to 5. That is our answer and that is our common difference. So that is how we're supposed to work out that question. It's all supposed to work it out. So we started by knowing that uh, AP is a common difference. We got the terms. These are we write the terms of uh, the terms of an AP beginning from the first one, the GP. So we told the first, you write the first, that, and the seventh term. They are written there. So when you write them, we are told that these uh, these are uh, form uh, three consecutive terms of a GP, and I've written them here. So if this one form the first uh, three consecutive terms of an GP, then there's a common ratio. When I take uh, a plus two d divided by a, it should give me the same as this. So you cross multiply, you work out for the value of d, remembering that you're given this one as uh, a our first term is 10 you continue to get your common difference s as 5 so that is how you're supposed to do that question thank you so much